Alrighty then, people, welcome to Gundam Climax UC, or as I will call it every instance thereafter, Gundam UC Climax, because it sounds more Englishy. Anyway, this is a completely fresh install, so I have to show you guys the first level of Mobile Suit Gundam again, but I hope you enjoy it. But on that note, if you are either, if you have been here, I've had this game about three months now, and I've played it at least twice, showing off that first stage. But if you are new, either new or watching this on a playlist way in the future, this game is basically the transition from the older Gundam vs. Zeta Gundam style and the following seed games to the PS3 games. This was released at the very end of the PS2's lifestyle, uh, lifeline, lifestyle, whatever you call it, or life, basically, in America, and then in 2000, uh, this was released in like late 2006, and in early 2007, basically everyone had a PS3. So, it has a lot of similar mechanics to the later games, but then some of the earlier ones. And, yeah, I've described that really badly, I apologize. But anyway, so how recording this goes is a lot of stuff is happening on the screen at once. Not right now, but later on. So files get rather big, so I'm, re I'm dividing each episode into two. Basically, I'll have one that focuses on Chronicle Mode which basically follows the characters from the anime around and does certain missions for them and then one for progress mode which is like the story mode um there is a manga based on that this game was that based on this game actually i think i don't think the game was based on it but um there's a manga that this game that's based on this uh game that follows the federation version of uh story mode i will probably at first show you zeon because zeon but anyway, um, I will show both, but if you're really interested in the actual story, you should go read that manga. It's... I can't remember. I'll probably post it as a subtitle. But anyway, so we are starting with Chronicle Mode. Oh, and there's Chronicle Progress, this third mode that I'll talk about later, versus mode, which is basically two people have to fight each other. And I only have one Xbox controller, so that's not going to happen. You can't do it wireless either. It kind of sucks. Card Collection, which... It allows you to show off some of the really good mobile suit textures. I like it, and then options. Um, one thing I really dislike about this game is there's no subtitles. At all. I also keep autosave off because it messes with my recording. But yeah, there's no autosave at all, or subtitles at all. So, kind of disappointing. So, a lot of this will be in Japanese, and you guys won't have any idea what's going on. And if you don't speak Japanese, you won't have any idea what's going on at all. But... 
I'll point out some of the major important stuff, but right now, none of it's really important. We just kill shit. If you've seen the anime, you should know enough of what's happening. If not, you should probably watch them. They're all actually really good. So, uh, with Chronicle Mode, you have Amuro, Shiro, and Christina. You also get the antagonist for all these series, so there'll be a lot more. Ko, Camille, Judah, Older Amuro, and then Seabook. Seabook. Not Seabrook. I keep saying Seabrook, but his name's Seabrook. So, you can actually do F91 in the beginning. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start with MS Gundam. And then I'm going to do the first two levels in Mobile Suit Gundam, which is this one, then Jaburo. The third level is Solomon, and you have to fight Big Zom, but Big Zom is really goddamn difficult. So, that'll be its own video, or it'll be the end of Mobile Suit Gundam. Next video, whatever. And then I think I'll do the first level in uh, MS, uh, MS-08. I will be calling it MS Saga the whole way. I've done it three times already. But anyway, yeah, they spelled Chiro's name wrong, too. They have an extra H. But yeah, so I'll do the first two in this and then one on that. The reason why I want to do the first one on this really is besides MSOA being awesome, um, in progress mode it'll allow us to unlock the golf custom, which you can use at Jabro, and the golf custom is freaking badass. And I will murder Amro in like 30 seconds. Um, usually I'm going to only record the first two missions, and however short that is will be the video. But in this one I'll have it run a little bit longer, I'll probably show off these three. And then I'll show off card mode a little bit, because we'll unlock a couple of cards. But since I reinstalled it, or re... Yes, I'm just staying with reinstalled, that worked last time. So, when I reinstalled it, I lost everything. I didn't save any of my data either, so... But yeah, there's this cutscene. ジオン公国軍が地球連邦軍に対して独立戦争を挑み、戦線は降着したまま8ヶ月余りが過ぎていた。ジオン軍のシャアアズナブル少佐はスペースコロニー再度7に出て連邦軍の新型兵器が開発されていることを知りこれに奇襲をかけるところが避難中の民間人の少年アムロレイは偶然地球連邦軍の最新鋭モビル
Besides that, you can use most of them. Like, I could use the camphor right now if I wanted to. It's unlocked in the beginning for some reason. I don't know why. But, anyway. So, basic explanation. Um, starting from the top. See how it says charge level 3? My mouse pointer doesn't work anymore. I shouldn't be using it. But anyway, see how it says char charge level 3 and then hyper bazooka right below that? Um, that's if you charge up your ranged weapon to level 3, you'll, get, you'll fire the hyper bazooka, which I will be doing quite a bit because... In space, it kind of works, but any other time, it's just annoying. Though it is good for taking down gauze. Um, level 2 is a beam rifle aim shot, which I think that's what the M is. Like, I don't know why, but yeah, so level 2 is a rain shot, and then level 1 is just a random fire. Um, sub weapon, head Vulcans. Um, use those when you're in close melee, you'll do crap tons of damage per second. It's pretty nice. Um, infighting, which is melee. No, I don't know why it's called infighting, I can't figure it out either, but. Melee's Beam Saber, of course. Um, some units have shields, mostly the Federation does, and some Zeon some units do. Shields are goddamn important, especially when fighting mobile armors, because your shield can take on, like, the full blast from Big Zom. Just because. And then, yeah, you get to pick a pilot. Since this is story mode, we get Amuro. And you get active skills. Um, this one makes you faster, and this one makes you reload a little bit quicker. I will forget to use these, but I'll try to show them off in the first level. So I'm gonna use the one that speeds us up. Um, everyone has different ones, though most characters have the exact same ones with different names. Because, yeah. The good ones are generally with the main characters. Uh, this is the only one- I'll only ever use these against mobile armors, because you have to shoot a lot really quickly. So yeah, besides that, I'll totally forget to use it. Sad fact. But yeah, if you heard that little audio glitch in there, that wasn't because it was going too slow. That's because it was rendering 60, or it was at 64 frames per second, not 63. Or 60, like it should be, so it sounded weird because there's more frames and the audio tried to speed itself up for that. But yeah, Zaku's aren't that much of an issue. But yeah, basically this is Hyper Bazooka. You hold square for a couple of seconds and you get to level 3. Uh, the bar doesn't actually matter. You can be at any level and do that. I got hit by a Bazooka halfway through, so... Um, always boost everywhere because you can. And that's how you don't get hit. But yeah, so that's Hyper Bazooka. I used that to kill that Zaku earlier. It's pretty good. You'll see that more when you... When fighting Zaku's. That was the aim shot. Didn't really help because he was charging at us. And this is the normal shot. And he just threw a grenade at me, that bastard. So, we are going to melee him. After we hit him with a ranged attack, because... And we just broke his shield. See that white line underneath my health? That's shield. And the orange is my, my health. On the bottom left, and CP is 30. When you use a special, it wastes CP. And occasionally, after defeating a bunch of units, you'll regenerate some. But they give you a lot, and you don't end up using it most of the time. So I don't really. It doesn't really matter. And when we get to progress mode, where you can actually upgrade your character yourself, you'll notice that that's always like 10 because I just don't use it. But yes, this is how you cheat with head Vulcans. Because they'll try blocking the head Vulcans instead of attacking you when you hit them. But hey, let's use more special ability. He keeps hitting me. Fuck, I'm about to die. Holy shit. He keeps hitting me with those freaking grenades. My lord. Okay, I'm gonna cheat because I don't want to die. And have to re record this. Oh, and. Um, we're about to fall into the atmosphere. That's not good. So, yeah, I'm gonna do terribly on this one, but. I was trying to explain stuff, so... And I hit... Uh, while I was moving so strange when he was firing at me, is I hit most of that on my shield, so I didn't take any damage. But yeah, I had to hurry up. I'm, I apologize. I'm usually a lot better than that. I am still crap, but I'm usually a lot better. Oh, and... I didn't get any, but notice successful bonus. Not success bonus, or like... Anything but successful bonus. It's very, this game gets very ingrishy. I think you could also shoot down the Musai, but I never do that. And after you finish a level, you get cards. I'll show off card mode after the other two. But basically, we got the Zaku F, we got Amaro, we got a background music, 
and we got a history card. So we need to save because I forgot to do that in one of my test playthroughs and had to redo quite a few things. イクタの激闘の末、ついに連邦軍基地ジャブローにたどり着いたホワイトベースであったが、戦いは終わらない。ホワイトベースを追撃してきたシャアはジャブローの秘密の入り口を発見することに成功。これを機にジオン軍のジ
I'm gonna shoot down that neck of that god right after this because fighting endless amounts of doms isn't all that fun. But you'll notice, especially in War in the Pocket against the Camper, the Camper just has this like immediate swing, whereas the Gundam Mallets you have to charge up and. So War in the Pocket will be fun, but I'll probably have that. Uh, that one doesn't like loading very well because of the bomb chain, so it'll be its own video. Um, there. Oh, and there's uh, turrets on the ground that's supposed to be helping us, but basically that's what all the explosions are about, is those things die when you fire head Vulcans at them. Which, if I can get... Oh, I can't even target that guy over there. There's only like three enemies left. Okay. Um, if I could get close enough, I would totally go shoot down a gal with head bolts. Yeah, basically, Zeon retreated. I wonder how well I did. I'm thinking A. Yeah, did really well. I shot down a ton of mobile suits, that's why, and I shot down what appears seven gauze, or dobies. There's a chance that I hit one of those. Oh. Um, we unlocked the stage for versus mode. Yeah. Oh, ah, and we got a Zaku J and a Dom. Dolmu. Um, Kai, Char. Yeah, I'll show you those later. Anyway. So, we're going to save so we get to keep all that stuff since I don't have auto save turned on. And now we are going to do that first level in Shiro's. Um, it's the battle against. the first battle against the Absolus. And. In this game, mobile armors are actually tough. I really love that about this game. Like, they're actually hard, and I might actually lose this. If I do, well, I will record it just so you guys can see me lose. But basically, it's your first battle against the Absolus. Um, there will be bombs, like, in the can- It's- you're in this canyon, and you're right in front of this giant hole. And if you fall in this hole, it's actually really hard to get out. So I'm gonna try to stay on the canyon walls. And there's, like, yeah- there's actually like terrain difficulty and stuff in this. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll show it off when I get around to it. Lempogun, そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そして、そ
I've, I'll forget to use it. I almost guarantee it. So basically, what we have to do for this mission is shoot down six. Uh, we shoot down six dops, and then after we shoot down six dops, uh, I know we'll hear. That's the 120, 180 millimeter cannon. It's a lot better than I make it out to be. I'm just horrible at aim. This is the machine gun. Doesn't even shoot them down in one shot. It's kind of disappointing. And it locks on, which is really nice, but. If you saw that, the dops were coming close to us, so basically the missiles followed it directly into the ground. But yeah, so we just had to shoot down enough of them. There's Zaku's in the base of the canyon, but I'll, I won't even fight them. Oh, and there are actually balloons in the canyon too, and if you run into them, they explode. Which is really nice. Great addition. I am very close to the Absolus. I need to be careful. If it hits me, I will die. And um, I do have the three people with. I do have all three people with me, but they're either at the bottom of the canyon or running around in the corner trying to not get hit by the Absolus. So they won't be all that useful. Ah, and that's its main gun. Um, don't let it hit you, you'll just die. But the trick with it is jump. Um, don't try to like run out of its way because it has a kind of AOE. Just jump away from it. And use the 180mm cannon because it has the best range. Um, it dodged my shot, that was actually really impressive. This is what happens when you use the rocket cannon. Basically, I fired all six shots into the ground, because it was locking into everyone else but the Absolus. Okay, I took that on the shield, so I didn't die, but yes, it would totally have murdered me. Murdered me. And that's its kind of shotgun-y thing. I can't remember what it's, what's it supposed to be called, but it's basically a shotgun. The Saza Beast shotgun functions exactly the same. Yeah. The goal is to get far away so you can avoid its shots and just take it out from a range. Though, you know what, if we get close enough, I will go and try stabbing it. Like, when we get its health down, I will kill it with it. I will stab it. Fuck it, I don't care. If I die, I do apologize for doing something stupid like that, but I want to do it. And if you notice, I think that Sanders just took one of the shots and survived. Okay, it hit the canyon below me. It's really good. I would have died if that. Oh, I don't need to have damage. That's great. Okay, yeah, I'm about to die. Yeah, basically what happens is it hits you once, it fires again immediately and kills you. But normally it hits your shield and then it just kills you. I just need to stay far enough away from it, hit it from a range. I apologize, this is kind of boring, but this is the only way to actually defeat it. Well, well. There's probably another way that if you're actually good at this game that you can do. But I'm not that good at this game. And jump away from that, because that's gonna kill me. I shot my machine gun for some reason, I didn't need to do that. It's getting closer, I think I... If it dives at me, I'm gonna just shoot it with me. Or I'm gonna stab it. One, the one downside to the 180 millimeter cannon is you have to kind of like position yourself to fire. I didn't want to do that, I wanted to stay behind the doom. But okay. Hill, cliff, whatever this is technically, it looked like a doom at the time. Oh, yeah, I shot myself. I actually took damage from shooting that hit that close to me. Okay. 
And this is when Shiro realized who was actually piloting it. Okay. Now I'm about to go do something really stupid. Yeah, um, if you use your special occasionally when you jump, it resets everything. Like, not health, but boost. So you can kind of buy, or you can kind of cheap out the game like that. Which is how you get over that hole, because it's really hard to get out of. I'm hoping to get close enough to where it tries diving me, then I'm going to power attack it. Yes, because I wanted to swing at it, not to dive. But if it hits me, I will die. Damn it, I didn't want to go back. Okay. <laughs> I missed that badly. Okay, well, we're not doing that anymore. I apologize, it's too far away though. So. It got too far away and the match would have ended before we could do that. But anyway, we got like, what, a C? Oh, a B. Did pretty good. I was about to get my ass kicked if I got hit, or I would have died if I got hit once more. And we didn't get anything good, we just got pilot cards. And we got a movie, which is the Absol is coming, and the stage. So, I'm about to, I'll show you guys the, the cards and then I'll end the video. Like, I really like the texture quality, so I'll show everything, then I'll show off the... Oh, fuck, I clicked next stage. Well, damn. Alrighty then, folks. I apologize for that. I hit next stage instead of exit. Because, you know, that's a thing. So, card collection. Um, I will show you some of the mobile... Or, I will show you some of the mobile suits, then pilots and characters, and that's all. I don't want to play with the background music, because I don't know if it's copyright, and then everything else is just text, so it's not all that interesting. But, this is one of the things I love about this game, is like, just how good the textures are. Like, for most Gundam games, they're really bad, but in this one, it's really nice. Like, look at the Zaku's eye. It kind of looks like the light's following it. It isn't, it's just how, yeah. It's just one dot in the center, but it does kind of look like it. But the only one thing is like, they get really low texture if you do certain things, but like, there's even burn marks. Badly looking burn marks, but they're burn marks. So I do really like it. And then the Dom, which is just something funny about the Dom is the cannon, it's just a cone. It's not even a circle or anything. It doesn't look like it, but it's a cone. Look like directly into it. Yep. Just a random cone. What else did we get? Oh, Zaku. Zaku J. Yeah, basically just the Zaku F. Like that. Yeah. And that's all we have. Okay. I don't want to let this run on too long. Just randomly admiring textures. Later on when I get most of them, I'll just make a video looking over every inch of them. For no apparent reason. But yeah. Oh, we got Karen. It, this basically just shows you parameters. It's kind of worthless. Like, I don't... I have empathy towards the stats. I'll explain that in the next video. And then Aina. Yeah. Yeah, you guys saw. That doesn't matter. I'll explain that ne more in the next episode. It's just right now I don't have the time. Then the characters. Amaro. Slegger, Bright Noah, Char. Okay, yeah, that's all we have. You can make them talk. Okay, well, anyways, that was this video. I have to go do stuff. If you enjoyed it, you should like it. Because, you know, competitiveness. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one posting videos of this, so it doesn't really matter. But you should like it anyway, just in case somebody ever does post videos of this. I will still show up first in the search results, so I get more money. But anyway, besides that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you should like it. If you didn't, well, thanks for spending 35 minutes on it. 